Hey there chameleons, it's Camille, and today we are bleaching my hair. I hope you guys saw yesterday's video, which was how to fade out red semi-permanent hair dye, or any semi-permanent or demi-permanent hair dye, but the next step in changing the color is bleaching. So unfortunately, I have these crazy long roots, and we've got to take care of those. So I'm going to show you guys how I bleach my hair in the most healthy way possible. First, I'm going to get my bleach, which is the Prism Lights in blue, and I just got this at Sally's because it was on sale, and because it's blue, which is the opposite of orange on the color wheel, so it will help kind of balance out the orange tones in your hair and get you closer to blonde. Now I'm mixing that with a 30 volume developer, and I always use the cream developer over the liquid because it's easier to use. I'm doing one scoop of powdered bleach using the scooper that came with it. Shaking up that developer, shake it like a Polaroid picture. You're actually not supposed to shake Polaroid pictures, apparently. People just do it wrong, it kind of breaks the, the color capsules. But anyways, I'm doing two scoops. So I'm doing a one bleach to two developer ratio, mixing that together. And then I'm adding some Olaplex, and I'm putting in a fourth of an ounce like it says to on the packaging. But you just want to read that, pouring that in there, and then mixing it up. Once you mix it all together, you'll see the consistency and that it needs more liquid. So I'm doing one more scoop of the developer. So pretty much one scoop bleach, three scoops developer, and then Olaplex. Now I've been wanting to use this hack for a long time, but I always hear about people using sweet and low, which is fake sugar mixing it in their bleach and then using it so that the bleach doesn't sting or burn their scalp as much. And I have a sensitive scalp, so this is definitely something that was worth trying out and I just took this from like a random coffee shop or something that I bought coffee at. Because trust me, I would not be putting this fake sugar in my body, I would rather just put it on my hair. <laughs> now I'm going to part my hair and the way I'm suctioning it is just to keep my hair as healthy as possible because some parts of your hair will bleach faster and other parts are more delicate just based on where on your head it's located. So I'm pretty much just sectioning off the outer inch around my whole head. So I already had a center part down the middle of my head and now I'm doing an inch from the front on the left and on the right. And I'm pulling that into two sections. It looks super hot like that, oh yeah. <laughs> and now I'm doing the same thing in the back, just about an inch thick uh, from the base of my neck. And then I'm going to put that in a section of its own. Now for the middle part, I'm dividing this into sections too. So I'm going to do a front and a back section. This hair is the thickest hair on my head. So that's why I want it to start bleaching first and processing first. And as you can see, my roots are pretty long. You have to use gloves when you're bleaching your hair because the chemicals are really strong and you don't want to ruin your skin. So make sure you put your gloves on. And now working from the bottom section, I'm using the bleach on my fingers because I want to be able to feel the back of my head since I'm not using mirrors and no one's helping me. So I always just use my fingers because that way I can feel how, like I can just feel what I'm touching pretty much. And I'm pulling that all throughout the roots until the very end where the black ends and then I'm kind of just very lightly fading that into the bleached part with the least amount of overlap as possible because I don't want to bleach something that's already bleached. I just kind of want to keep it on the new growth. Now I'm taking off the scrunchie for the top middle section and I'm doing the same thing here. I'm just pulling the hair out into sections of their own. So out of the sections, I make other sections. So it's like sectionception. And then that's what it looks like when it's all done. And now I'm going to put that up, get it out of the way, and then start working on the outside sections. Now I did the back first because it doesn't process as fast as the front of my hair does and I saved the front for last because this part bleaches the fastest and gets damaged more easily. Now once all the bleach is on, you're going to let it sit for a while and I use a very low volume. Since I used Olaplex on the 30, it brings it down to a 20 volume. So I just let it sit for probably an hour and a half because it was so low and this is what it came out looking like. So you can see that my roots are still golden as expected with such a low volume, but it didn't ruin my hair. Now I'm going to use the Olaplex number two, which you use after you rinse out the bleach. Don't actually use shampoo, you just rinse it out. Then you put this on all the sections that you bleached and it's going to help bond your hair back together and kind of fix some of the bonds that were broken when you bleached. So I'm doing that all throughout the roots that I bleached and then just pulling it throughout a little more. Now I just did the whole process all over again the next day 
and this is what it looks like after I did all the sections and then I applied the bleach and I used Olaplex again and Sweet and Low again and it actually did help a little bit with the burning sensation so that was great but for my second round I used 40 volume developer which Olaplex brought down to a 30 volume just because the 20 volume really isn't that strong on hair that's so dark so I just let this sit for probably about 40 minutes I used a bag to keep the heat in, speed up the chemical reactions, and after I did that, I decided to tone my hair. I used this Blonde Brilliance stuff because it has acai extract, coconut oil, papaya extract, mango oil, wheat proteins. It has all this stuff in there to keep your hair healthy. Even the developer has coconut oil, papaya extract, and mango oil, so it is better for your hair. And I only used five volume developer because I just want to deposit the color without adding any extra lift or any extra damage to my hair. So I squeeze the tube of the toner into my little mixing bowl. It's like white stuff, but then at the end it turns kind of like a peachy pink color for some reason, but that's what it looks like. And then I add the same amount of developer, so it's a one-to-one -one ratio, and you pretty much just need half the bottle. So you just mix it all together, make it a nice even paste. And then this is what my hair looked like the next day after the two bleachings had happened and dried and I definitely did some hot oil and some keratin treatments before doing this. Now I'm just sectioning my hair again. I'm sectioning it into quarters this time just so it's easier to apply the toner. And the toner is not as big of a deal as the bleach so you don't have to be like too crazy with the sectioning. But you definitely have to wear gloves because it is chemicals again. And I'm using my fingers once again to spread this out just because it's easier to feel. So I start with the center part, apply it there, and I move to the front of my face. And just all around the outsides of the part. Make sure it's nice and saturated. And then you want to start sectioning off the other parts of the section with your fingers and making sure that every single thing gets covered. And then with all of the extras, you just want to use that on the rest of your hair and just kind of pull it through all the rest of your blonde. It will just kind of tone everything out a little bit and just make your hair a little bit more even. I'm putting my hair up in a ponytail and then up in a bun just to keep it out my face, girl. And then I'm putting on a plastic bag, speed up the chemicals, and because it makes me look like Tupac in a twisted way. So that's the healthy way that I use to bleach my hair and tone my hair and get it ready for hair dye. So tune in tomorrow and you will see the new hair color. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, my cooking channel, and my vlog channel, which are linked down below. And I will see you chameleons in the next video. Kisses. Mwah.